everybody. Um, I just wanted to show you what a visual schedule would look like. Uh, we use visual schedules at school all the time. Uh, it helps a lot of children out. So for a schedule to be done at home, um, you can just use paper, um, anything that you can use just to show the children what their, their day would look like. Uh, it helps a lot of people out. So I would, use, I would do get dressed would be my first one. You don't have to write the words, you can draw a picture as well. So I've just done a t-shirt to get dressed. And then breakfast. So breakfast could be a bowl of cereal, a piece of toast, whatever they're gonna have for breakfast. Um, then the first activity could be a hunt. I know tomorrow on the schedule is a rainbow hunt. So you could even just draw a rainbow. Uh, snack. You don't have to put snack in, it, it's up to you. Um, I'll just draw an apple. A lot of the times uh, you could put a timer as well, so you can just use your cell phone for a timer. So you could say, we're going to have five minutes for snack, and then after that we're going to move on to the next activity. So five minutes. And then you might want to do a movement break. This is up to you. Um, a movement break at school would be just dance. We could do go noodle. We would go outside for recess. Um, ideas to do at home. You could skip, you could run, you could jump on the spot. Um, anything to get that bit of energy out. And then we can come back to literacy. And I saw on the literacy tomorrow is reading a book, doing a calendar. And then we could go to shapes. Or whatever the math topic is. So we could do the shape activity. And then you could say finish or home. At school, we, for home, we would put the bus. So, and then there's their schedule for the day. You can even do this in the morning, in the afternoon. You can do it whenever you guys feel like you want to do it. But this is just an idea that we would use at school. It, it, it might help, help you. Take care, guys. Hope it helps. Bye.